Hi, my name is Bridget McGrath from TahoePT.com and today we're going to learn how to use resistance bands for bodybuilding. Resistance bands can offer a different modality and can keep a workout interesting, but the basic premises of bodybuilding don't change. So you'd still want to remember your 8 to 12 rep range, your sets numbering 4 plus per body part, your rest intervals would still remain 60 to 90 seconds per set. All of those same premises would remain. The way you're going to build muscle, regardless of your modality, is by working in your negatives. So you want to tear down the muscle as much as possible so that it builds scar tissue and increased muscle mass as it rebuilds itself. So you want to concentrate on the negative or lowering portion of the movement. Every exercise that you can do with free weights, you can also do with resistance bands. With resistance bands, the difficulty of the exercise increases the farther away you are from your base. So once you walk away from where you have attached the resistance band, it will get more and more difficult to, as the tension increases. As with free weights, you would want to work on your larger muscles first. So let's talk about our push exercises. Let's talk about a chest press. So for a chest press, we would want to secure the resistance band to somewhere ideally chest high. Make sure it's nice and secure and that you have equal resistance or equal tension left to right. So you'd want to walk away from where your secure anchor point is. And remember again, the farther you walk away, the more resistance you'll have. You want to have your elbows chest high have your hands in line with your elbows and make sure you have a right angle in your elbow. Another push exercise for a smaller muscle group would be your delts. A lateral raise is a good way to build mass in the horseshoe shape of your delt and you really see the results quickly. So what you'd want to do is stand on the resistance band, make sure that you have equal tension left to right and simply raise your arms with your wrist straight and locked in line with your shoulders. Let, raise them only shoulder height and then come back down again, but watch those negatives so you want to make sure that you're coming down nice and slow. There are several great options for doing back exercises with the resistance band. The first thing you'd want to do is secure the resistance band to a location that's anywhere from floor height to chest height. Once you have the band securely anchored, proceed as you normally would with like a seated cable row or a dumbbell row on a bench. Pull the band toward you. A bicep curl is another great option for building muscle mass with a resistance band. So you'd want to stand on the resistance band to anchor it, make sure that you have equal tension left to right, and simply pull the band towards your shoulders while keeping your elbows tucked in. Again, remember your negatives, so you'd want to slowly lower the band back down again before you do your next pull. I'm Bridget McGrath from TahoePT.com and I hope you enjoyed learning how to use resistance bands for bodybuilding.